The wide receiver competition will be one of the most interesting battles during this year's training camp. And a player who we need to keep a close eye on is rookie Tylen Wallace. The fourth round pick out of Oklahoma State had a really solid session of offseason practices, and he's going to compete for a role on this offense. Now, Wallace put up some big time numbers in college. He racked up more than 3,400 receiving yards in that college career. Now, nearly all of that production came as an outside receiver on passes down the field, a lot of contested catches. But when I watched him during the offseason practices, it sure looked like to me like he has the tools to be a quality slot receiver in the NFL. He's sudden and shifty, and he looks to have that route running ability to get open over the middle of the field. That was a big question that teams asked Wallace during the pre-draft process. Can you make that move from being an outside receiver in college to potentially being an inside receiver during your NFL career? Well, he talked about that this week when he joined us for the latest episode of the Lounge Podcast. They haven't seen me do it. They, you know, they think I can. And I think that was just the biggest thing trying to prove, you know, just because if you haven't seen me play in the slot and run certain routes doesn't mean that I can't do it. So I think right. that's the, the biggest misconception, I guess, going into the whole thing is that, you know, they, they haven't seen me do it, so they don't think I can. As players get a few weeks off before the start of training camp, Wallace said that the biggest focus for him is going to be on the mental side of the things. He's really going to dive into that playbook and make sure that he has that down for when the team returns for the start of training camp. Now, Wallace has a really interesting story. We talked about all of that on the latest episode of the podcast. It's got some ups and some downs. And after listening to it, I think you're going to really find yourself rooting for him. Go ahead and check it out wherever you get your podcast. Just search Baltimore Ravens Podcast Network. That's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow.